Today we're going to talk about the effects of snow, rain, ice, and salt has on your braking components. We we'll also talk about how the new RPT or rust preventive technology rotors will help prevent these kind of concerns. Finally, we'll install the rotors, send it out on the road for real world testing. Let's get started. So we pulled the rotors off the vehicle. Let's take a look at the condition of the rotors that have come off the vehicle. As you can see, the front rotor, the outside of the rotor looks relatively pretty good. It looks pretty smooth and the braking surface is, is, is pretty adequate. When we spin that rotor around, we have a different story. That rotor ends up, as you can see, doesn't have the effectiveness on it. Many times this is caused by airflow across the vehicle, the dynamics of the vehicle. Sometimes the dust shields and this area of the rotor never really dries out. The other area you want to take a look at on the rotor is the cooling vein area. It's essential that the cooling veins are clear and open to airflow to help cool that rotor. In the rust belt areas, in the winters, these areas become clogged and affects the cooling of that rotor. This rear rotor tells you a completely different story. We look at the outer surface of the rotor, we have a lot of flaking. This flaking is actually friction material. When you, when you apply the brakes, friction material is transferred from the pads to the face of the rotor. Through time and through corrosion, what ends up happening is water migrates underneath this friction material. It causes it to delaminate or starts to pop. Let's take a look at the RPT technology and how that's going to take care of these conditions. Corrosion begins immediately after installation of brake components. Winter weather accelerates this corrosion due to salt and chemicals put down on the roads. As we mentioned, corrosion can creep under the surface areas and cause a condition which is called rust jacking, where moisture actually starts popping the friction material off the face of that rotor. Let's take a look at the RPT, or Raybestos RPT rotor. As you can see, this rotor is fully coated to help alleviate any kind of rust jacking. Most importantly, we coat the vein area. That vein area needs to stay clean and free of any debris to give maximum cooling for this rotor. Our Raybestos RPT rotors undergo 300 plus hours of salt spray testing. While salt spray testing gives us a great indication of how it will perform, nothing beats the real world test. Let's install these rotors and get it on the road. As you can see, we've installed our RPT rotors on the vehicle. The coating covers the entire surface. However, after your initial road test, you will see that the pad swept area of the rotor, that coating will be removed. That is a normal condition. But what remains is the outer edges and the inner edges of that rotor will still be protected to help alleviate any kind of intrusion from moisture underneath that friction material. So we don't end up like a situation here where we have friction popping off the face of that rotor. This car is ready for the road. Stay tuned for future updates on how RPT coating is protecting our rotors from the elements.